Hey everyone, it's me, Psychedelic Babe, and today I'm going to do a different type of video. Today I'm focusing on my backyard stroke garden. Now I'll call it a garden because I've never really had anywhere that I can do plants or anything. And I moved into this property a year ago and I seen this back area and I just knew that I had to move in here. And yeah, it was a great summer last year. I did a few plants and I thought if I'm going to stay here then this year I was going to do it a bit properly. So I discarded everything that was in here and I went out yesterday, bought a few plants. So I thought I'd go through the video. Now there's my bike ready for my ride when I get out eventually, once the sun starts coming out. I've got a potted plant I hang from the washing line and it's a busy lizzy and I thought it was going to die last year. Everything fell off it and it started looking really horrible. But now I've persevered with it and it's started growing some nice little shoots and hopefully that'll flower up soon. Hopefully. <laughs> these are my pine cones. Now these are absolutely fabulous, especially when they're in the sun. I've got four of these. Now my kids got me these. They went, there's actually a story behind them. Now my children, they're only young and we live in the city and they don't get to go out much and when they do they always come back with something really interesting and i took they went to the park one day and they came back with these pine cones and they were absolutely gorgeous and i've had them now for about 10 years and i bring them outside and when it does get sunny they do open up now as you can see they're not open at the minute that one's starting to but yeah they're really cool so I like the pine cones. So anyway, let's get on. These are the plants that I bought yesterday. As you can see, they were only cheap. But my daughter is a fan of cucumber. So that's a cucumber plant for her. Whether it grows or not is a different kettle of fish. But we will see. And this one here is a tomato plant. I like tomato plants. Tomato plants are really easy to grow. So no, I'm not gonna have any problems with that one. And this one is a red pepper. And these were only a pound each. And I thought, I pay a pound for a bag of just one pepper. And you usually get about three or four in it. So I'm hoping that I can get some off here. And they're positioned nicely in the sun. So we'll see how they grow. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. And show you the rest of what I've got. And now I haven't taken them out of the pot yet. I'm going to do that once they've settled a bit. I only got them yesterday. So in this pot here, don't know if you can see that, but it's like a yellow chilli. A hot banana chilli. And I've never tasted them before. I'm a big fan of chilli peppers. I love chilli peppers. So that's why we've got quite a few chillies. This one is a jalapeno chilli pepper plant. This is sadly the only plant that survived from last year. So I'm hoping this will grow again. It had some really nice purple flowers on it last year. I'm not sure what plant it is. I'm absolutely hopeless with names. Hence why I've kept all the little tags in the plants. Otherwise I'm not going to have a clue what they are once they start growing. This is another jalapeno one. And this is another hot banana one. This one is a hot Thai dragon chilli. So yeah, I'll be intrigued to see how hot they actually are when they come through. And that's another hot, dry, Thai chilli dragon. Um, in these pots here, I got these from the Asda, and they were only a pound each. It said, grow your own strawberries. Now, you may remember a video that I did last year where I did do strawberries. Now, I grew them from hot, about, about this size they were. So, basically, I was cheating. So, this time around, I thought, well, I'll grow them in the pots, and I'll do it from the seed. Now, when I opened them and I looked at the seeds, I was like, yeah, okay, they're not going to grow. But, yeah, they're actually starting in the hoping that now that we've got a bit of sunshine, they might actually start kicking off. Now, in a minute, I'm going to be planting these. These are petunia, and they're really easy to grow, and they're really cheap. And being a crap gardener that I am, I thought easy to grow would be the ones. And I got some geraniums, some summer sorbet. And they're like pink, white, and a dark pink, and they smell absolutely divine. I can smell that geranium smell. <sighs> so yeah, that's 
This is my yard anyway. I call it a yard, it's a garden. I call it a garden because it's somewhere to sit in the sun. And it is, it's quite nice. I've got a fig tree and in the summer all big leaves grow off it and it grows it. Like shadows over all the garden and it looks nice. I've got all my crap out here. I've got my used sands that I don't use no more. I've got loads of pieces of driftwood that I don't use no more. A bucket full of gravel. <laughs> Oh well, we always change our mind, us fish keepers and all my silk plants. My boyfriend goes mad at me, he's like, oh you should throw them in the bin. I'm not going to throw them in the bin, there will be a day at some point where I will use them. Yeah, so, this is part one of my garden vlog. I'll be doing one of these every week and showing you the progress of what I'm doing. I've got a few crazy ideas, but if you've got any ideas of anything that I can add to this garden, I know I need a water feature. Boyfriend's not happy about that, but I definitely need a water feature. You know, I'm thinking a few tubs in the corner, you know, running them down, or a nice rockery and a little pond, or I don't know. I have got endless ideas for this garden, I really have. I get the sun here all day, I get it from about half nine in the morning until it goes down, basically. So it's the ideal place to sit out, chill, and I do it all day in the summer, so I need something to keep my brain active while I'm out here so if you've got any suggestions feel free to leave them in the comment section below if you've got this far I, I really do appreciate it because I know it's hard watching a seven minute video so I'll wrap this up I'll let you all go because I'm going to go and enjoy the sunshine pot some plants sit down finish my coffee and yeah I hope you all have a great day I hope the sun's shining wherever you are and if it is get on out there and enjoy it if not well, I'm sure you'll have a water change to do or something else. So take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon. Have a great day. Love you all. Bye for now.